Hi guys, my name is Chris. I'm one of the habitat specialists here at Taxa Outdoors here in Houston, Texas. Um, well, you guys are standing in our showroom here in Houston, Texas at our factory. Um, we have a uh, big factory here in Houston where we manufacture all of our habitats. I'm gonna spend some time going over a couple of them. Uh, this first one right here, this is gonna be our tiger moth. This is our second smallest habitat. Um, it's the smallest one that you can sleep inside of. Um, very lightweight, as you can see, it has a pretty big footprint for even being so large. Um, once you close everything up and make it compact, um, it doesn't take up much space at all. So we'll start from the back right here. This is gonna be our main kitchen setup area. Um, this is where you do a lot of your cooking, a lot of your food prep. Um, as you can see, this is where your, two, uh, your camp stove will usually go. Underneath here, you're gonna see massive amounts of storage underneath here. So a grid style that is adjustable. So you can store all of your kitchenware. If you have food, um, you're gonna have some more storage space over here. We have some additional storage space right here. This one's gonna be more open style. Um, this is where your wash bay slides and sits in here. And then once you have all of this area closed up, it slides directly underneath the main sitting area in here. So this is gonna be, like I said, your, your kitchen area. You have an awning above. So once this is deployed, um, it's gonna be fully enclosed and covered. Um, this is gonna be your only water source for your Tiger Moth. Um, it's a five gallon jerry can. You can replace this jerry can, you can add additional jerry cans, um, but this is gonna be the only type of water source on the Tiger Moth. <clears throat> We're gonna cover some more out, outside stuff uh, and then we'll walk on the inside. Um, this is gonna be all of your external connections. You have a solar power connection right here, which is a standard SAE plug. All of our habitats are fully solar capable, um, so you do have that capability. You have a short power connection directly underneath this solar port, and then on the front end, you'll see it from the inside, but that's where your AC lives. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at some of the interior of our Tiger Moth. As you can see, you have two large bay doors. This is gonna be our largest door. This is actually a big selling feature for some people because of the, the size of it. And once you open it, you can see how much of it you have access to. So. When I'm sitting inside, this is what your main sleeping area sit, or sitting area looks like. You have a nice little uh, table right here, a nice little area to sit and have coffee. You have a really nice scenery in which you have everything open. You have a nice flow, a nice breeze. Um, so it's really great when you have it in this setup. Just to kind of cover some additional areas over here, you're gonna have some storage areas. I'm sitting on one of them. One is directly here. And the other one is right here. And we redesigned this opening in the newer model, the newest Tiger Moth, to open to the side so you can accommodate larger cargo. So bikes, kayaks, things of that nature, you're able to store in here now. Down below, uh, over here in the corner, you'll have your, your battery storage tray. Um, you have two Group 24 or Group 27 batteries. There's a storage tray down there. You're gonna have some charger ports, dual USB, 12 volt, you have a battery disconnect switch, your standard outlet, and like I said earlier, there's your AC. So that's an optional add-on. Um, you know, we're down here in Texas, we definitely need some AC. And real quick, we're gonna show you guys the uh, sleeping quarters. So there is a lever underneath here where you can remove this table. There's a release button down below. And this one goes on. Out. Now you have your main, your main sleeping area. So as you can see, large space going to be fully laid out. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but very nice to have in those harsher elements. Moving on to some of the uh, exterior on the front end. As you can see, we have a rooftop tent set up on the front end. Um, Tiger Moth can support a rooftop tent. It has a cargo deck underneath here. It's rated for 200 pounds. That is gonna be a uh, 
dynamic weight rating. So that means anything under 200 pounds when you're in transit. Once you get to a uh, campsite, feel free to load any type of extra weight you want to. So you don't have to really worry, worry about weight restrictions at a campsite more so than you do in transit. Back to the rooftop tent. This is a Thule Tapui tent. Uh, this is a two to three person rooftop tent. Uh, it is a soft material tent, as you can see. You do have some spacing restrictions on the front end. Um, as long as you stay within these, this specification and weight rating, you can handle a rooftop tent. And then right on the front, real quick, kind of darken this area, but we do have some additional features. Here's the AC unit. You're gonna have a cargo rack on the front end, so you can use this for, let's say, a ice chest or cooler. Um, firewood, any larger cargo, and then you have a toolbox in the front end as well. This is where you keep things like your wheel chocks, uh, chains, rope, anything of that nature. With that being said, guys, this is going to be our Tiger Moth 